All right, people, here's the next part in getting your video inside of Maya. Um, first, we have to process the video. We have to bring it into After Effects so that we can turn it into an image sequence. So first, I'm going to go ahead and grab my video, drag it inside of After Effects like so. Then I'm going to right click on the video and go to New Composition from Selection. What that's going to do is it's going to create a composition at the, at the length of my video with the same scale. Next thing I'm going to do is go to composition, then go to add to render queue. Once inside here, I'm going to go to my output module, click on lossless. Then I'm going to change my format from AVI to JPEG sequence. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to hit OK. The next thing I need to do is change my output to. So right now it says video playback, uh, video playback, and it has these hashtags inside there. So I'm going to click on that. And what I need to do is change the amount of hashtags I have inside here. Now, Maya can only read three digits when it's bringing uh, an image sequence. So um, we can only have three hashtags inside of there. All right. So after you've done that, uh, make sure that you're saving it to your project folder. So I'm just going to find my project folder really quick. Let's go walk cycle. And I'm going to save it inside of my source images like so. And I'm going to make sure uh, save and subfolder is checked on. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now I'm ready to render. I'm going to go ahead and hit the render button. And now my video is done. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up Maya and show you guys how you can get this image sequence inside of there. So I'm currently inside of Maya. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up my image plane. Well, right here, you can see I have my character here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up my image plane. So in the side view, I want to make sure that I click on my image plane tool right here. I'm going to go to video playback is where it's housing all of my images. And as you can see here, I have up to 517 images in my image sequence. I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one. Hit open. And now what I want to do is make sure that use image sequence is checked on. The next thing I want to do is make sure that my numbers inside of my time slider are the playback range is set to the amount of images I have. So I want to make sure that that's set to 517. All right. Now, I already have my rig inside here. As you can see, my image plane is a lot smaller than my actual rig. So I'm going to scale this up like so. Move it up some. Maybe scale it up a little more. Something like that. I'm just going to move it over so it's not um, clipping through my character. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and rotate it by holding J. It'll allow me to snap my rotation. And I'm just going to reverse it so that it's going in the same direction as my character. I'm going to position it just like so. And that's it. So this is how you get a image sequence inside of Maya to use as video reference. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and remember art is freedom.